Here is a quick video covering the functionality of the Kitco Metal Quotes plugin for ZBrush. After you have the plugin installed, if you launch ZBrush and then navigate to your Z plugin palette at the top here and open this up, in here you'll find the Kitco Metal Quotes plugin. The Kitco Metal Quotes plugin allows you to calculate the volume of a selected subtool and then receive cost estimates based on the current Kitco.com metal prices. To use this plugin, simply select a subtool, then navigate to the Z plugin menu here, and then click the Get Metal Prices for Subtool button. When you click this button, the plugin will download the latest prices for gold, silver, palladium, and platinum from Kitco.com, and then it will give you a list of materials using these metals with varying costs. So if I simply click this button here, you'll see this dialog is going to pop up. At the top of the dialog, you'll see the name of the subtool, and then we'll have the dimensions in millimeter format. And then below this, we'll have the volume in milliliters. The first column here will display the raw troy ounce cost of the material. So here we have gold, palladium, platinum, and silver. Below this, we also have options for stainless steel, titanium, and tungsten carbide. The three values here at the bottom are not live updated but they can be modified through text files in the installed directory of the Kitco Metal Quotes plugin. Now the next column we have are is different materials that are using the source material. So for the gold here, we have gold green, gold rose, gold white, and gold yellow, all in varying degrees of carats. The next column here, we have the weight of the subtool in the corresponding material, and then the price in US dollars. Now we can export these out by clicking the Save button here, and this will generate a CSV file or a comma separated values file. So clicking save here, we'll open up a dialog box and now we can save this file out. Now after this file is saved, we can then open this up in a program like Excel. So here we have the subtool's name and then we have the dimensions of the subtool along with the volume. We have the raw metal cost. Next to it we have the list of material and caret values. We have the troy ounce weight of the object in that material. We have the grams weight of the object in that material. And then we have the penny weight of the object in that material. And then finally, the US dollar price amount. Now the plugin will also allow you to add a markup percentage and also extra weight. So if I go back to ZBrush here and go back to the Z plugin tab and open this up, underneath the main header for the Kitco Metal Quotes plugin, there is a price markup percentage here. So I can say, type in say 50% markup. And then there's an extra weight slider here for adding extra weight for sprues and trees. So here I can type say in two ounces. And now when I click this get metal prices for subtool, it's going to add these values into the calculations. So it's going to download the latest prices from kitco.com for gold, palladium, platinum, and silver. And then it will now put in the values of that markup along with any of the extra weight for sprues and trees. Now you'll notice that the gram value here for the subtool has not changed, as the extra weight is only going to be associated with the cost and not the object itself after it has been cast. Now once again, the stainless steel, titanium, and tungsten carbide values down here are not automatically updated. So to update these, you need to modify the text file in the Kitco Metal Quotes installed folder. So that is a quick rundown for the Kitco Metal Quotes plugin for ZBrush. This plugin can be downloaded from the Download Center at Pixelogic.com.